I did rock up to a family gathering with two slabs of cruisers once. And I've got to say, that was one of the worst funerals that I've ever been a part of. <laughs> you need oh, bad decisions man. to make a party a good party, to make it a memorable party. Mate, they were calling me small hands. And you know how I get about being called small hands, dude. <laughs> Fellas, you got to wear linen. Like, What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Hey, man. Cheers, man. Episode one. Episode Season one. two. Mm. Everyone can finally see uh, my contraption. Yes, there you go. Here's something that I didn't realize was going on. The beard mic. Um, it just, you get a better sound. You get a better sound if it's the closer to the bed. The acoustics. The beard hair acoustics. Yeah, whereas, uh, yeah, on the shirt, I don't, usually when I'm laughing, I'll throw my head back and it'll come off my shirt. And uh, whereas it's on the, on the beard, I can, uh, yeah, it's just a clear cut. <laughs> and we laugh a lot, don't we, Doss? We have a lot of fun on the road guide. That's Welcome it. back. Thanks for sticking with us. We've been gone for a minute um, and we're back. Yeah. Hopefully this season, also visually. So you might be an audio listener right now. Yeah. Not sure what's going on, what we're talking about. <laughs> Probably for context, it's probably yeah. worthwhile saying that we are filming this for the first time ever. We're both in Melbourne, as you can see by this lovely backdrop here, or perhaps even hear the backdrop. Audio only. <laughs> <laughs> now we get to experience it. <laughs> Wait for the sirens. Yeah. There's no second class citizens here. Um, yeah. But we're going to give this a crack. Mm. Check it out on Daniel Pross's YouTube account. <laughs> oh, I, I, see, I see why we're doing this. <laughs> but also we're going to set up a channel potentially. Well, we will set it up regardless yeah. if we use it or not. For the road guide on YouTube. So people that prefer using YouTube, which is myself included, yeah. um, can go and listen and watch us right there. Wouldn't be a road guide if we didn't roll into the start of a season launch hungover. And uh, battling away, and hence the vodka Red Bulls yep. to uh, try and um, re-energize. Going down too well. No, there's no such thing. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, because well, well, I guess I'll roll into my weekly update. Um, sister's wedding yesterday, mm. which was uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a big night. It was a sure. huge day, mm. huge day, big night. I was yeah. on camera duties. Shooting something that hopefully looks a bit better than what you're seeing right here, potentially. <laughs> potentially. But it was an awesome wedding. Yeah. Most beautiful venue. It's where I'm getting married, that's for sure. <laughs> hopefully. Ambitious. Well, you're well, get married. So I'm hoping you inherit it, actually. So <laughs> that's a different story. Yeah, bloody... That's the road guide up. to you surfing someone's inheritance. Yeah, in uncle. I've been, I've been working on my uncle for years. And uh, Frost rocks up one weekend and now he's reckoning he's half a chance. Yeah, we had a good chat, Mick and I, talking <laughs> dorpers, all kinds mm. of sheep. Yarns. I've got another thing to talk about sheep being from the outback. <laughs> <laughs> you love your sheep. <laughs> love my sheep. I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was obviously yesterday. And um, oh, I guess I'm going to do a summer highlight. And um, yeah, it's pretty busy. <laughs> I honestly feel like I haven't stopped since the last episode that we had. It's just been something on, just rolled on. I've been to Adelaide. I've been to Queensland. Um, Sydney, Great states. I've literally oh, just hit awesome. everywhere up. Book yeah. flights to Europe in a month. Just like, I just can't stop. <laughs> I don't even plan anymore. The plans just appear. It's not even my doing. Wow. And I'm already booked out. I'm already booked out for March and they didn't even do anything. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been a bit different for me. Um, summer in the outback. Stay indoors. Mm. You're either at the river for like a few minutes, otherwise you get sunburned, <laughs> or you're indoors. Uh, so it's been pretty quiet. Also... Um, decided I'd break up that monotony, get a part of some of your plans, your excitement. Ooh. Came to Melbourne in January. Mel Vegas. And, uh, <laughs> and got COVID. Yeah. Instantly. Instantly. The second day I was there. Yeah. I spent my whole holiday COVIDed. Isolating. Yeah. Right here, actually. Yeah. Spent a lot of time on this balcony. Yeah. Um, yeah. Suffering. Yeah, I actually kind of decided if you didn't get COVID, well, firstly, I just want to say I didn't get it, but. I isolated with him and I must have been asymptomatic or something because, yeah, there's no way. Um, we're pretty intimate in Isolo. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you didn't get COVID in January in your 20s in Australia, you're boring. Yeah. <laughs> That's rough, you know. That's tough because it's factually well, you know, well researched that point. <laughs> yeah. You know, that person, you're boring if you got, didn't get COVID in January. Yeah, that was part of... Uh, Omnicon, one of the symptoms of getting it means Omnicon. you're cool. I've never heard the same pronunciation twice. It's always like Omicron, I'm, 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 well, anyway, anyway. 
COVID chat. I couldn't remember. I was going to call it Omega. Omega. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, that's not it. That's not it. Don't start off by getting bullied by everyone. <laughs> yeah. Really wrong. But that was really fun. Um, but aside from that, oh, yeah, highlight of my summer though. You're looking at Longreach Regional Council's Oof. Senior Sports Person of the Year. Not senior like 60-year-old senior. Yeah. Senior more like above not children's age. <laughs> um, and that was a big honour. Surprisingly yeah. big honour. You know, a whole big t- city like Longreach, an outback metropolis, the yeah. capital of the outback, okay, okay. as it's advertised. And uh, I'm the biggest stud alpha out athlete <laughs> out there. So, I mean, you can probably see me for the first time if you're yeah. watching on YouTube. Oh, wow, this guy is athletic. <laughs> yeah, you're probably like, oh, look at him all gangly and stretched out. Is that Arnold? Um, yeah. And bloody, look at, if you're watching, bloody, you look at this camera angle on DOS. <laughs> he insisted that the camera be right there and he's going full tense the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Get the covers out. <laughs> but yeah, mm. that was huge. Really cool. Yeah. Mm. No, that's good. That's uh, that's pretty good effort. Yeah. That's Thanks, not man. bad. Yeah. Get COVID and then uh, bounce back. Bounce back <laughs> hard. Bounce back and really now hard. there's expectation on me in town to like mm. show up and volunteer again. And yeah, things. yeah, that's it. Yeah, popular man. Yeah. And uh, one thing I noticed over summer was um, a lot of my friends started had to resort to listening to other podcasts. And I was like, and then they'd let me know. Waste of time when there's reruns of yeah. season one. Uh, there's, yeah, there's 15 episodes you go back through. Yeah, yeah. It's almost and 15 hours of content you could just continuously cycle through. Like friends. People go back and watch friends. Yeah. Why aren't you going back and just we're listening? The, we're the friends of podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, hopefully yeah. success-wise, but yeah. friends can be a bit cringe. Uh, yeah. Controversial opinion, maybe. You're actually, it's interesting, friends. Oh, no, I don't want to get into it. Anyway, I was getting into something else. Come. We're, conversation for later yeah yeah we're promoting friends we don't promote friends yeah. well we do but no, not it's one, of our, it's not one of our policies we don't promote <laughs> friends yeah <laughs> uh, anyway so the podcast that they're listening to i was like all right i'll, I'll try i'll try to listen to a couple of podcasts you know suss out the competition see what's going on and um yeah i realized they're just like they're just waffle they don't really talk they're just like don't get anything done in the conversation and um and then to be fair they're all really attractive and I think that's why we've looked at getting our video platform out there so that you can all see that we are attractive, which means we have potential to be successful. Exactly. In this market. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, that was my uh, summer realization. Wow. That we have potential. Some might say that's a pretty disgusting realization. <laughs> <laughs> Realize that life's pretty good. If you look good. If you look if good. You look good. <laughs> that's a good saying, actually. Yeah. Um, but things are good, getting better, especially because... 2022 mm. we've got to do a road guide to 2022 but um too many too many topics where do you begin why not just get into one of the main aspects of 2022 that yeah. i know that you're definitely looking forward to oh, yeah. me i'm a bit more of a hermit um don't really have any travel plans but travel travel the road mm. guide to travel yeah a huge mm. topic actually one that's very close to our hearts oh yeah yeah <laughs> literally we've been holding on to this one for a bit yeah we've been like we can't do a pod on um, travel until we can travel. Yeah. Because it's just going to give us, yeah, PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not PTSD. No, but... What is it? I mean, it could. Let's, let's not rule it out. <laughs> it's definitely uh, a symptom of the road guide. Yeah. Is, uh, our audience members do get a bit of PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But now we can travel. <laughs> we, we got away from that. Uh, we can travel and, um, yeah, bloody hell. But other podcasters, they waffle. They don't get to the point like we do, right? Yeah. <laughs> we just get bored of our own conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be traveling this year. Yeah. That's the uh, key point. And, um, yeah, like I said before, I've already booked flights to Europe and uh, they're cheap. Flights are cheap, people. Like, Not no like what excuse. they said they'd be. Not yeah. like what the media said. Oh, the media. Ugh. Media. Media. Oh, there's some crazy stuff, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not all media. No, there's, one broadcaster. There's one broadcaster yeah. that we uh, love. One approved broadcaster. <laughs> yeah, the road guide is one approved. <laughs> no, but the, the tourist boffins, they're all saying it's going to be over 10 grand. It'll be, travel will be for the elite of the elite, mm. even on you know budget airlines international because yeah. there'll be no planes, no operators. Those seats are going to be worth 10 15 grand, whatever. Yeah. Not um, not what happened. Not quite what happened. The opposite oh, almost. It's cheaper. Yeah, cheaper. <laughs> than it used to be. Yeah. So, yeah, no reason not to book. Um, yeah, what am I doing travel wise? So, yeah, so this year I'm doing, going back to Europe because COVID ruined that for me last time when I was over there. 
Um, uh-huh. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, that sounded almost that it was a bit sour, a bit bitter. That you, yeah, you bloody said, oh, yeah. I copped European winter, and then COVID hit just as we were coming <laughs> out know. of it. God damn, I was only there for that six months, and it just oh robbed absolutely robbed <laughs> um but now i'm coming back i'm coming back for a vengeance yeah and, and you're bringing your little brother with you bring my little bro who hasn't traveled before so no. this one was very much dedicated to a, a listener close to our heart a friend of the show yeah return visitor he could have probably been on this podcast but yeah would have been very sad i think poor form of us to have darcy on almost every episode yeah. well he's also can't handle a hangover can't communicate. He's asleep, yeah. Yeah. No, he's really... not doing well, is he? Mm. No. Whereas we, we're still comprehensible hangovers because we follow the road guide to hangovers. Yeah. We need to, I don't remember what episode that was, so I can specifically say season episode four. Yeah, there's like just that. so many road guide episodes. I know. 15. 15. That's, uh, that could be nearly 15 hours of listening. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Again, go back and listen, listen back. Um, but yeah, traveling is something that, um, it's the best thing. It's, it's the point, it's the reason to live really yeah. in a lot of ways yeah um getting out there and seeing the world changes your life yeah. you know, which is really important you keep getting challenged you see new stuff i've been traveling for a long time uh, my first international travel oh, was a cruise cruise is a bit like antique you don't really count do yeah that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so i won't necessarily say the cruise but that, that one I, was, I did that when i was like 10 i think yeah but when i was 12 I went over with four other people um high school students uh and went to Nepal for the first time ever. Yeah. Nepal, which uh, funnily enough, we were talking about, someone asked, favorite country you've been to? It was Ryan that asked. Yeah. Shout out Ryan. Ryan. He, yeah. he loves the show as well. Yeah, actually. he's a big fan. Yeah. Big fan. He, yeah. uh, he's, he's gone such places. a big fan, he only just heard about it. Oh yeah, that's but he's, right. Uh, he forgot about it because he loved it that much. He wanted to listen to him all again fresh. <laughs> I was like, that, that's yeah, good, Do man. some like that's traumatic a, therapy. Like, yeah. Get a bloody shock therapy or something. Yeah. To, like, get out of the system. That's uh, a little fan. <laughs> yeah, he's a little fan. Yeah, he's obsessed. Um, stop calling out phones and sending us messages. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah creepy. Um, but yeah, and he asked what country is the favorite country I've been to. And I think, I think I'll say Nepal, which is a big call. I really, really was obsessed with Japan after I went there. Yeah. Korea, I love. I really want to go back. I can speak Korean badly, but pretty well. <laughs> Um, decently well, I think I'd get yeah. by. Uh, but Nepal, beautiful country. What about uh, South America? Yeah, Bolivia, Peru. Um, you're right, actually. Mm. Shit. You know, it's <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, I really, really love it all. That's the point. You don't know. Mm. Every new country, every new step could yeah. be the best thing you've experienced. That's so it. So get out there and travel. I was segueing to step one and my brain couldn't get the segue together. That's risky. <laughs> oh. You don't. Segway hungover. I <laughs> yeah, that's, I've actually noticed that with some of the episodes we've been hungover. Yeah. The segways are just so struggle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll skip the segue and uh, I think we'll just go straight into step one. Yeah. And uh, I think you had step one. Yeah, I do. It's my turn. Kicking things off. First mm. step of the set season two. Bit of an honor, a bit of a privilege, and it's going to be a good yeah. one. Book something. Go out there and do it. Get it locked Here on, is. on the grid, <laughs> set in stone. Book ahead, yeah. book soon, book later, whatever you're gonna do. Get it booked. Um, yeah. Don't be someone that just is all talk because there's been plenty of talk <laughs> as an era of the COVID time. Oh, mate. Like, obviously, I was in Europe when COVID hit, so I had to come back. And as I come back, all my friends are like, oh, man, if it wasn't for COVID, I was gonna come visit you over there. And I was like, I was there for six months, saw one mate. Like, <laughs> you're all full of it. And then now, everyone has been all chirping about it, like 2020. It's going to be my travel year. 2021 is going to be my travel year. Now you can. Now there's no more excuses. That's all quiet. Yeah. Now there's all quiet. Yeah, no one's booking yeah. flights. Yeah. I book flights. Everyone's like, what? Oh my God, you're traveling? Get over it. Like, we're sweet now. The world's in a good enough place yeah. that you can travel. Yeah. Yeah. Take the risk and just get abroad. Yeah. You can get abroad. You love getting abroad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> Not mad about that one. <laughs> um, yeah, totally agree. Uh, I'm a bit of a hypocrite because a lot of my travel has been domestic. I don't know if that's cheating, um, but travel's travel, I think. For long range, domestic is basically international. It costs the same. It does cost the same. <laughs> that's, that's it's a factor. Uh, and the rest, of the rest of Australia feels like a different country, quite frankly. Yeah. Oh, you guys have like tvs and stuff out there so it's really cool um yeah it's not trying to burn you uh so yeah go out and book you know back yourself yeah take your shot yeah and uh and step two don't book too much mm. 
So, <laughs> so step step two. Don't worry about it. Don't yeah. worry about it. That's that one. No, you need a book. Yeah. Something. Yeah. You need a book. Something. Yeah. But don't try book hotels throughout. Don't try book trips, uh, tours, and stuff before you get there. Don't overthink your trip. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Like, give yourself as much flexibility as you can. Yeah. Because most my best experiences overseas because I met people. And they told me stuff they've done, stuff that's going on yeah. that you didn't know what was happening. And you could pull up at a hostel and they say, we're all doing this tomorrow. And it's yeah. like, oh, these guys are fun. You guys are cool. Yeah. Done. Boom. You're yeah. gone. You're that's with it. Them. We went to, in Ecuador, we went to Montanita, which we don't talk about, but that experience was amazing. <laughs> yeah. And we would, never heard about it. Never, never heard about no. it. No. Until I was over there and I just. And I, it punched that place. It oh, absolutely it punched. It was worth it. Well yeah. worth it. Yeah. But yeah, it was just random people we kept meeting. That was like Montanita, best place I've ever been. Yeah. And um, sure enough, I went there and wow we. Yeah. Mm. No, definitely. And there was all kinds of tours and trips that we ended up going on re- relatively last minute. Yeah. And it's right because it's frantic enough being overseas, getting from point A to point B, keeping you know, all your documentation, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That can be enough. Don't have the additional time pressure of like lock being locked into something. Yeah. You'll yeah. work it out. The, that's the, exactly. the tourist company that wants your money. Yeah, that's all it is. It's them pressing you. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is, something bad is going to happen. You just got to embrace yourself for something bad to happen. And when it does, don't stress because you allowed for one bad thing. Yeah. That's um, a pretty good step three. Yeah. I reckon. Um, expect expect the, uh, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> expect the worst. Because um, they'll get pretty shocking. You'll run out of money. Potentially, yeah. oh, oh. you'll get, you'll, you'll, even you'll, you'll, if you have money, your card might go into the machine <laughs> yeah. and it won't come back. Yeah. Uh, and then security guards armed with guns will tell you to move mm. along. It could be your first day in a new country and you blow that country's budget and you went to there for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, but you adapt and yep. you overcome. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely so. do. You definitely do. And you've got to, you know, it's the character building actually being out there, probably alone, even if you've got your mate with you, no yeah. mommy and daddy. Yeah, um, but no. shout out to mommy and daddy for coming for our rescue yeah, sometimes. I love you guys. Uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's all the good stuff. Things will go wrong, definitely. So um, yeah. so brace for it. Yeah, mm. yeah, for sure. And when things go right, which I'll, I'll take a step for, is uh, yeah, you can find love, mm. find a bit of travel love. Yeah, travel romance. Get abroad. Get abroad. Get abroad. Get abroad. <laughs> Get abroad, abroad. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I feel like that's like an app or like a, a dating service. Broad to broad or something like that. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, we'll cut this out because this is like... Someone's going to steal this. This is intellectual property now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, in, in my experience, um, yeah, I, I've had great times overseas. I've met I've met women that I've um, yeah, fallen for pretty hard. Mm. Um, not yeah. just overnight flings either. No. Um, no. <laughs> I'll let you finish, but not it's not the same for me. I've um you know, I'm pretty I'm pretty reserved, Christian not Christian you know, <laughs> preserved, kind, compassionate, not super slutty. You just know he's man. gonna say something bad, but he, <laughs> he built himself up like this. <laughs> he's about to destroy his rats. So he's gonna... <laughs> um you know you and I have a lot in common. Well, yeah. you know, I'm um, have a lot yeah. in common with your Australian persona. Yeah. Uh, let's just say that. A bit of a degenerate, a bit of yeah. a, a no hoper, loser deadbeat. Far out. That was rough. <laughs> bounce back. You yeah. bounce back. Well, what I've ever seen is I'm a good Christian boy. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, you yeah. you tend to draw draw your romances out. Yeah, I with tend some, to. With some really special people. Yeah, yeah. Honda, especially. Honda. <laughs> Which is funny because one of my romances, my only actual overseas romance, yeah. was with Suzuki. <laughs> Literally in Japan, we're out there dating cars. Haruka overseas. Suzuki, yeah, yeah. Ooh, kind of, it's what you do overseas. You know, yeah. It's very European. To yeah, date that's it. Um, yeah, it's that's funny, but yeah. um, we're not really Honda. Shout out Honda though. Shout out Suzuki. Potential yeah. sponsors. That's it. Oh, we could get them on. Yeah, we'll get them on. But yeah, I'm very pro. Very pro travel romance. Yeah. Um, my most serious relationship was from a travel romance. Mm. That's uh, yeah. Shout out to Hannah. Take me back. Um, hey Hannah. <laughs> Big I've been listening. I'm a big fan of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, all the um, girls that you're talking to at the moment on Hinge and stuff like that, um, they'll see that and they'll be like, oh, here he is, but he's still talking about his ex. Uh, <laughs> turn it off, switch off. So switch might not, off, might yeah. Too much. That's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To the girl that's watching this. <laughs> to yeah. the girl that's watching this. If, if you've, you know, you've got Doss in your heart, he talks about you all the time. 
let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Damage control. Yeah, he really likes your blonde, brunette, red hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he loves it how long and short your legs are. And, yeah. It's all good stuff. So he's a big fan of it. Big fan. Um, oh. Yeah, you, that's been just some amazing. You've you've really fallen fallen for girls overseas. Yeah, which is um, yeah, it's it, well, it's good. It's I feel like it's because you have similar interests. If you're mm. overseas, you're already the funnest person in your local community. <laughs> if you're so local community, yeah. the local community of Melbourne, yeah. I am the funnest person. I will make claims for and that. I cannot find anyone fun like me in Melbourne yeah. because I'm already in that role. The only overseas. place I'll find him is in a ten dollar hostel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but you can find love. You can, Definitely. and it could just be that country's love. It could be yes. like that town's love. Yeah, your, or, your Bolivian girlfriend or yeah. your um, Peruvian boyfriend or something like that, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's good. Yeah, and I, I kind of like that Yeah, that kind of flexibility, especially when you're overseas and you're so disconnected from everything. Yeah. It's a, it's good to have a you know, bit of a grounded experience, the yeah. girlfriend experience, Yeah. Um, some would say, and yeah. Some might say that. Some might say they that. They definitely would say that. <laughs> um, but step four in the bag, step five, it's to come back home. Oh. You travel back home, so it's still travel. Yeah. And to start most sentences with, oh, yes, why, when I was in Peru, blah, 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 blah. Or, ah, yeah. oh, it reminds me of that time in Japan. Yeah. When this thing, somewhat relevant to the conversation I'm having with you here in Australia, yeah. happened. Um, yeah. You just bring it up. Mm. It, it becomes a personality trait. People love it. It's yeah. like really fun for them to hear you constantly. <laughs> talk about these great experiences yeah. you've had that they can't verify. That's it. My That's mate at work false. did the best segue to it. Uh, one of the guys came in, we're just talking about Japanese food. And um, oh, they're going about sushi, don't they? Or ramen. Well, that's then we looked at him and we're like, oh, what's your favorite sushi joint? And he's like, oh yeah, it's probably, it was in this oh. alleyway in Tokyo and it was down this corner. I was like, yeah. I get it. I get uh, it. Come on, mate. We're talking about bloody Mal yeah. Melbourne yeah. <laughs> around no, the corner. They, they say, uh, I've been to Japan. <laughs> So when I was in Japan, here we go, here's a perfect example. Um, they go to Japan and they come back to Australia and they're like, oh no, I, I wouldn't eat the Australian sushi. Oh, that, oh, yeah. That's not, it's not traditional. Yeah. It's an insult to the culture. Yes. It's like, well, walk it back, you know. You're still, you're still a, a Wait, a are we loser. pro this step? We're turning on them. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's, yeah, you're right. Those wankers are kind of our people, aren't they? Yeah. That's who we actually we are. We are wankers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, do that. Do that where you shit on everything that happens in Australia. <laughs> shit on your home country as much as possible, basically. Um, because overseas is better. Yeah, that's you know? it. It's all no, culture. I still call Australia home. Yeah. Best, oh. It's the best home country in the world. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely the best home base. Yeah, best, best place best to beaches. leave to travel somewhere else. Australian beaches have ruined beaches for me. There's no incentive for me at all. I went to Hawaii. <laughs> I had to walk out two kilometers across rocks and coral. <laughs> Admittedly, I don't want to go too hard in Hawaii because I only went to the tourist island, like Waikiki or something. Yeah. So someone might say you're on the wrong island and you're probably right. So I'm going to walk that one back real quick because our Hawaiian listeners are active. Uh, they're very active. They're very active. Yeah. Shout out to them. <laughs> Shout out to them. Um, there you go. Yeah. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. And Oh, actually, on step five, I've got a little uh, good way to keep yourself in check. There's our first uh Speaking of Suzuki's, <laughs> yeah. the she's telltale back. sign she's of back. A strong Suzuki engine. Installs. You've heard that sound before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to keep yourself in check um, is travel to a new country for every year you are old. So Huge call. Big call. Expensive hard task, call. Expensive yeah. call. But what else is money for? It's that's the dilemma, I think, and that's like that's a whole that's a big question. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Let's let's not touch it. Okay. <laughs> You're right. It'd be, it would be it would be unwise of us to talk about travel. Yeah, on a travel episode. <laughs> so no, we'll, uh, no. I'll, hey, I'll still touch the point. We buy houses. <laughs> well, you buy houses. I we travel. invest. Um, yeah. So you want to hit? I'm, I'm 27, and yeah. because of COVID, I've missed my chance to catch up. So I'm currently 19. <laughs> Because COVID's been eight years. <laughs> okay. Uh, but mentally, I'm about a 19 year old. Yeah. So that kind of checks out. Yeah. As long as you can work justify it like that, then yeah, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I think we, 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 we've we sort of broken it down. I've sort of looked into it a little bit. 16 or so, I'd say. Um, I haven't been to Europe though. 
Yeah. I think I'm about to, if you've got rookie I'll numbers, start. potentially like mine, well, that might be pretty, pretty strong numbers, pretty good mm. showing, I reckon. Uh, it's not quite one for every of my 28 years, which it hurts to say. Oof. Um, but yeah, I was like Europe, mate. Working yeah. through it. Yeah, well, I'm going next month and I'm five countries will be yeah. added to the list. So bang, hit 24. And then by the end of the year, I'll be at 30. So laughing. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what happens if you go over 27? Uh, you're putting them in the bank. You're banking them. So you can have a couple of cruiser years. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They're good. COVID years, some might say. Because you yeah. never know when COVID could hit. Then you'll lose your, your average. That's it. Good point. That's the yeah. road guide to travel. But from yeah. two people that have done some traveling, I'd say. We're not yeah. quite like influencer travelers. We don't get to go out that often. We work, we have lives. Yeah. Um, but when, you know, when mum and dad can afford to send us overseas, <laughs> we, we take we it. We do take it. We, we take, take it. it. We wear that burden. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, right, well, um, I'm thinking, we're going to go into, here's one for you. Yeah. But I just want to say why we don't have a mystery guest, a, a big call guest today. True. Um, and it's because, it's because of COVID. <laughs> And the whole episode talking about COVID's gone, get overseas, but it's so, it's so hard to get a hold of people in COVID, you know? It's really it, tough. It's, they didn't, you know, nothing really came forward as a method of communication. So yeah. we, we, no one's here, basically. Yeah. <laughs> no. Unless, like, there's someone across the, the way that wants to pitch Jordan. in. Actually, I do have one for you. I have a story. I had this is a dilemma I experienced over summer. So I um, actually, it started from COVID. Because <laughs> this is all uh, revolutionary news. Um, I was just out one night, Friday night, and I get a message from um, Tom Owen, big fan of the show. We're going to see him later today, hopefully. Yeah, yes. If he answers um, Darcy's text message. Not, he's not going to, but... Okay. Um, uh, yeah, he messaged me and he's like, mate, do you want to go on a wine tour tomorrow? In like 10 hours to the time, effectively. And I was like, yeah, right, hell yeah. And then I get there and he's like, all right, so the story is... Oh, no. It was a bride and groom, like a bucks and a hens combined. Um, oh, a is, Hux. It's a Hux night, hens yeah, and bucks. It's already terrible been, idea. Terrible idea. Shocking idea. Terrible. That terrible idea. It's <laughs> a red was, flag. Yeah, That's it was a, a red flag, flag early, but I was like, free one tour. Yeah. I'm already in, regardless. Yeah. I don't care what it is. Yeah. Um, and so the bride got COVID, and then the groom True. had to isolate as well, and then the parents and the families and stuff. They were like, well, we're not going to go. If yeah, I'm not going to hang out with my part, your partners, partners your kids, friends. No way. Yeah. Ugh. Um, so they didn't go and then a lot of the bridal party is like well we're not going to go just in case we might have it or somewhere already isolating so they're like nah and then it was just kind of the dregs of the friends that were like the extras and so they couldn't get a refund because it was just so late notice so they just they said to the friends they're like look you can just all bring a plus one and um, actually second red flag the others and one other person brought a plus one so <laughs> I don't think they had a friend to start with so I came along and I was like, this is great. Um, and, and then on the tour, we're having it. If you go on a wine tour and you just drink white wine or rosé, you're a child. Yeah, just rosé. Yeah. Yeah, it's just rosé. That's weak. Oh, like. I'm not even a wine drinker and we spent the last couple of days at a winery. Yeah. You tough Try it. it. Yeah. And you, know, and you ask them, what, what should I drink? Yeah. What do you reckon? Because these yeah. people are brewing their own stuff. Mm. You yeah, have two recommendations the Shiraz, yeah. Banger. The tradition, we've yeah, still got the tradition. Smooth. Yeah, it's a mixture of Shiraz, Merlot, and Cabernet. Mm. Really yeah. good. Yeah, and the things you learn from it as well. Shoot your shot. Don't yeah. just have rosé the whole way. And like, That's I'm, crazy. I'm a massive blokey man. I like, yeah, beer, whiskey, you know, all the rest of yeah. rum. Yeah, rum. Yeah, Red Bull. Bit of bun bun. <laughs> yeah. Bunny rum. Man, too fair, I just like any alcohol. Yeah. There's, like, there's nothing on my no list. Yeah, um, if it's especially if it's like there and gourmet. Yeah, and so this is free wine you're drinking. And they were still just wanting their rosé. I was like, yes, yeah, his children. I felt, These guys I felt embarrassed to be with this group yeah. for that sake. Me and Tom were the only ones drinking, and one other guy were drinking red. But it got to the stage where at the next winery, the server wouldn't even interact with everyone else. He'd only talk to us about the wine because he knew he was pouring shit to everyone else. <laughs> yeah, and he's probably, you know, uh, mm. probably proud of it, wants to talk about it a little yeah, bit, engage exactly. with it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it's like, you know, we'll just... Have rosé or yeah. whatever. And then they were getting on the dessert wines and I was like, guys. Yes. That's, it's a good metaphor for travel as well. That's mm. why you keep things open. Yeah, because exactly. Because if you lock it in and you're like, well, I'm going to go there and I'm going to just do this, the same kind of thing I normally always do, mm. like rosé. Yeah. Yeah. Mix it up. You're not going to grow. No. Nah. Yeah. But so the, the dilemma was, 
we went to this um is this a big call this is a big call so we went to this dinner and uh i think there's 12 of us there 12 all up yeah and one wasn't drinking nine of them don't touch that wankers nine of them yeah are they listeners or watchers of the show uh doubt it okay yeah, um, yeah actually that makes no yeah. sense yeah <laughs> nine of them so, yeah. yeah and also i never met these people and get there not one of them introduced themselves to me like they'd have conversations with Tom next to me in front of me. And this all like, make, maybe this is like it makes sense they didn't have any plus ones. Yeah, it's it, I started to understand it more as the day rolled yeah. on. And Tom did warn me going in. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, and then when we got there's a eight hundred dollar bar tab and there's like ten of us and we had an hour and a half, two hours. Eighty bucks each, two hours. Uh a little, little bit less. It must have been an hour. Yeah. Right. Eight hundred bucks. One non drinker. Yeah. So I was like, all right, we can do some, we can do some damage here, and so we get one right, and they, and they all order the most basic drinks to start with, and I, was, I'm a plus one, I don't want to be the instigator of the spendy drinks of destroying the budget, so I stuck with them, and I was just like, I'm just gonna let this play out. Yeah, it's not my drink the drinks. Yeah, do it. It's not your thing. It's I get not my you. responsibility to run this. Yeah, run this show, um, and uh, yeah. So what would you have done if you were in charge, of, in in my position there? Oh. I would be on the spendies. <laughs> Mate, I remember as soon as I clocked off yesterday at um, Brody's wedding, I was straight on the cocktails. Yeah. $14, $16 cocktails. Raw, dry. <laughs> no beers. The beers are all free. Yeah. I can write unlimited free beers. <laughs> but I was opting into the expensive cocktails. Yeah. Mate, if I was there, oh, I would have I would have smited them. Mm. I would have absolutely stuck them. I stung them. I'm like, you guys good? You keep the budget low? I'm going to get these rookie numbers up. I'm going to start spending some cash here. Yeah, we were there for... I think half an hour, 40 minutes, and we'd, we'd spent 150 bucks. Oh, I was like, God. miserable. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. And they, you all had already spent $800. Or um, were you in on it for free? I was in on it for free. That yeah, was the other was, thing. I yeah, was like, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. I'd still go spendy because I'm a bit of a DJ. Yeah. <laughs> love my cocktails, love my expensive drinks. Yeah. Fair. But keep going. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and then they, one of them came up with the idea of, um, oh, let's, let's get some wine. For them at the wedding so they can have one more wine at the wedding because you could buy boxes of wine in the tab of the tab yeah we did find that out and um yeah so it's one of them suggested that and how would you if i don't mind that idea i understand it i'm not like, fair enough you know it's their wedding they've um paid a little bit for this um how would you have split that would you have there's split no that? guarantee that the bride and groom make it to the wedding they've got COVID, don't they yeah yeah and the other thing is <laughs> It's a wedding. They're fucking prepared. Yeah. They have wine. They have beer. They. <laughs> Gosh, that's shocking. Yeah. We've been on some. We've been. We've been with some weird groups. Yeah, this one took the cake. That the, more so sure. than the living crew. Uh, living crew were just so boring that you knew it was going to be boring. Okay. Whereas, this was like I don't really understand who they're trying to impress, kind of thing. It was. Just, it was. It was weird. Yeah. It was genuine weird. Yeah, I don't know. I'd still just be on the spendies. I'd yeah. be stinging them. Yeah. I, yeah, I definitely wanted to go hard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in the end, they chose. Um, actually, what I would have done would have been just go hard. Give us, we'll just go 500 and then 300 they can just spend on, um, uh, yeah, on wine for the wedding. Like, let us just go hard. We're not yeah. going to get 800. We're probably not going to hit it. No. Let's be real. But we could damn well go close to 500. Um, yeah, so that's what I would have done. That way they get a little bit of wine for their wedding or even just buy them the most expensive bottles that they got there Yeah. so that they can have their own, you know, cup really? of wine whenever they want. Yeah. Yeah, and really splash out with it. Yeah. And, but no, in the end, they spent 600 bucks on wine and <laughs> barely touched the tab. That is like, so cooked. And when we got back there, turns out they weren't even that good of friends with the bride and groom. Because remember, these aren't, no one's in the bridal party. This is like, I thought it was good, like just the step back. But no, it was the next step back. It was like workmates, effectively. And I, I was just fuming. That's shocking, man. <laughs> I was That's, like, that is a... And the other thing is, if I, being in the bride or groom, isolating, knowing that people are out there that could be having a wild time, and then you find out that they didn't, yeah. you'd be like, what, what the for? hell did I pay for? Yeah. Oh, so. Not listeners. They're not yeah. listeners. No, they're not. No. No. It's a pretty disgraceful act, actually. Yeah, it's a dog act. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, dog acts will happen and people will get down. 
mm. brings us to a new segment. Yeah. Series 60, mate. That's Series 60, 60 seconds. Keep it real. Keep it fresh. Yeah. Try and spit some, uh, spit some good advice. We, yeah. Like we've got, we're pretty wholesome content. Yeah. I think we give some good advice. Wholesome content. Yeah. Wholesome is like my favorite word of yeah, 2022. I, I like it, but I mean, some of it's pretty degenerate. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's why I said some. Okay. Yeah. yeah Probably okay. two of the five steps are usually like, you actually will follow. Yeah. They're pretty like... Mum approved. Judy mom said that approved. you don't let her watch, listen to the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Mum's I think my mum just knows. She's like, well, that's probably not for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and this is just a chance for 60 seconds. Yeah. We just talk about real things and just yeah. try and... Yeah. Um, and this week we wanted to spend the 60 seconds just in your group chats with your mates, just yeah. check, just check on them. Yeah. yeah keep you, it real. Mm, you'd be amazed like how easy it is for you just to message someone. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? I'm not someone that typically has troubles. I feel mm. like I'm, I'm generally upbeat. I don't really have any, um, thankfully I don't really have any mental, um, illness or anxiety or whatever like that. I get anxious, a lot of normal stuff. Yeah. But, um, but you know, when I feel down, um, time to time um if if you think that people in the group aren't coming forward or maybe they are having a tough time or maybe you just want to check in with them um it can be good to instigate then just say hey guys when you know having a tough time yeah. you're doing real well so sort yeah. it breaks down the barriers and that person might feel more comfortable being like yeah you know what i a bit of a rough time as well mate yeah and you can talk about it yeah 100 percent. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty pretty chronic with that yeah if i'm struggling a bit i'll just put a message out that i do have like a that i like i'm a big fan of taylor swift Massive fan. Yeah. She's not a fan of the show yet. But yeah. <laughs> but she can appear in the show. She can appear in Keep the going. show. Keep um, going. I'm listening. And uh, yeah, it was about one of my group chats, my really good mates, would be post, I'd be like, guys, I just need a Taylor Swift gif. Oh, the classic. The Taylor, the Taylor Swift, Swift gif. gifts. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and all they do is just send a gif back and I'm just like feeling the love. Yeah. So, and this is, this is our Taylor Swift that comes around with us. Yeah. Taylor Swift, <laughs> she's always here. Um, it's not weird that Dust has this. <laughs> I mean, it, it is weird, but I'm sure he can justify it. Uh, the Mean Master Jed, they bought it for us. Bought it for me for Christmas. And I've actually had girls come over and take photos with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that much of a red flag. We're going to have her over here watching. Yeah. Because um, she's, she's a bit too tall, um, actually. Life size, isn't Life it? Life size. That's pretty good. But yeah, it's kind of weird to have her sort of headless like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a series 60. Also, Keep people real. listening are like, what the hell's going on? Oh, you're right. I yeah. just pulled out a life-size cardboard <laughs> tail suit. <laughs> that's so weird. As you would assume. <laughs> I didn't explain that. Um, yeah, we'll work this out. It's the first time doing multi-platform, so yeah. it's going to be weird for both audiences at certain points. Like, mm. maybe you've been seeing some really strange cuts. I've swapped legs all of a sudden. Let's not talk too much about it. There's <laughs> yeah. a bit of moving magic. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. I'm just like fiddling around. Like, his oh, microphone's yeah. attached to his beard. Um, <laughs> Everyone can finally see how yeah. embarrassing I am. Yeah. Um, but yeah, check on your mates. Check on your mates. Big yeah. Time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeez, we, uh, did we even stay serious for 60 seconds? I went and got Taylor Swift, didn't I? <laughs> we ended up with a live Taylor Swift. I feel, like we, I feel like we did our good intention. Duty. Good yeah, intention. Yeah, good intention. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Well, I got one for you as well. Here's one for you. There's certain types of people out there that are just, they're just the worst. Oh. It's safe to say. And oh, um, I met we, one recently. <laughs> I guess you met one. The worst. The worst. Human. I think I can say that, even if his friends are fans of the show, which they, they could be. Um, <laughs> he's, uh, yeah. He was the worst. He's one of the worst people we've met. Um, the but worst people I've met. that, the second worst to that would be just people that don't like tomato. What? <laughs> just like, That's what? <laughs> You're kidding. What it's, is this? What's this? I just don't get it. What the hell are you not like about tomato? It's, it's really nice. It's not that flavorsome. What are you talking about? It's so flavorsome. It doesn't it's steal so the show. Wet. It's so wet. So it's sauce. cold as well. So sauce. It's wet cold? And wet. Cold and wet. Yeah, it's delicious flavor. <laughs> no, mate. It, it's like, I can't believe you put me in the same league as this guy. <laughs> He was the worst by, person I've met. Step, step below, by. but I mean, it's in the same. It's we're talking conversational here. Um, no, that's ridiculous. Um, we'll put a poll up. If you like tomato or not? I hate tomato. I think it's awful. You know, I, um, my my girlfriend Danny. Shout out Danny, uh, a reluctant occasional listener, just to hear if I say something incriminating or something like that. Yeah, fair. Um, which is you know, good research. Do your research. Yeah, uh, look out for red flags, thing. especially when they're with their mates. You know, <laughs> who isn't walking red flag? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, put a poll up. 
see if people like tomato. Because I, to I told Danny, I was like, oh, look, I'm not really a big fan of um, a lot of veggies. You know, I found in my life, I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Um, and she's a nutritionist, a former nutritionist, um, amazing cook, oh, yeah. amazing cook. And she uses, we, we eat a lot of vegetables, mostly vegetables, I would say. And overwhelmingly, I have not had a problem with any of them. Weird ones. I made a ve vegan lasagna, mate, with beans instead of mints. Little mm. lima beans or something. Not lima beans. I forget what they are. It was delicious. And I tried it. Um, the spag roll, I think it was anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. It's all the same. And you know, I, I might have put tomatoes in that. Small, yeah. weird, uh, warm tomatoes that were warmed up because they were in the bolognese. Yeah. My point is, I'm not sure if that's us or if it's someone else. That's us. Yeah. Um, it is us. Um, yeah. Point is, well, I'm going to get that while I talk to you, mate. Um, <laughs> help put tea swizzle down in my place. Audio yeah. listeners, tea swizzle's now mm. in my seat. Um, my point is, Dos, is that I like overwhelmingly ve vegetables, it turns out. Tomato sucks, man. Did you, did you think it was just because you couldn't cook? Uh, I think I do think the fact that Danny is a great yeah. cook um, definitely, um, <laughs> let me lean, lean this shot here, um, definitely makes a huge difference. Yeah. Um, our That's friend right. and regular on the show, Juzzy, is currently buzzing her way into the apartment. Oh, breaking, Whoa! Breaking this fell over. Now. God damn it. Um, but we might be getting towards the end here, Doss. Yeah, 100%. It's probably been a, it's probably been a red hot minute. Yeah. Um, we're trying something new, basically. Yeah. It's a new year. Uh, take a chance, people. Try something different. Yeah. Could be successful. It could fail. It's the same thing as traveling. Exactly. Could Bring pick the back. right full circle. Could pick the right country. Could, could pick, die. Could pick Ukraine. Plane could crash. Could. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna touch that? We have time. <laughs> We're getting political. All right, here we go. Let's go politics, Hold up. baby. Ukraine or Russia? <laughs> yeah. Who you got? Okay. <laughs> Where's your allegiance? <laughs> no, we'll uh, we'll dodge that bullet. Oh, I shouldn't have used that terminology. Oof. Put my foot in my mouth here. Dos, yeah. can you uh, bring us home with some plugs? Oh, well, I'm good at I'm good at closing the show. Yeah. It's uh, a skill that I, uh, I'm renowned for. You've been practicing, I hope, I've been over practicing the past few months. My, uh, <laughs> my go, row, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, we're back. We're back. We're back. And uh, we're going to be weekly um, as best we can. And hopefully on, on YouTube now as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so brace yourself. Your year just got better. I know it's been pretty glum yep. as it is with uh, everything going on. Yep. But yeah, you know it's coming up and we're going to play a big part in that because uh, well, yeah, we're your favorite podcast, The Rogue Guide. Yep. Go rogue, go big, go rogue. Go, go rogue or go home. Go rogue or go home. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Did you suggest that last year? Go rogue, doesn't matter. <laughs> That's it. It's going to stick this year. Go rogue. Go rogue or, or go, go home. home. Especially yeah. when you're traveling. Yeah, 100%. Uh, just oh. stay home. Go home or stay home. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't stay in my hostel. I don't want to yeah. have to deal with you. All right. All right. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We're back. We'll fade out maybe. <laughs>